everyone. It's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. We are doing tie-dye in our Bibles today, so come along with me and let's have some fun while we remember that we are not to fear because God is always with us. So today I am grabbing this amazing set of watercolors out of my drawer. They are Kuretake watercolors, and I realized that I don't use them nearly often enough. And one reason is because this palette is really huge. But I saw in someone else's watercolor video on YouTube that they take their watercolors just right out of the palette and then use them that way. And I thought, that's perfect. So again, these are Kuretake watercolors, safe to use in your Bible. I do, as with everything, have them linked down below for you if you want to do some research on them and pick up a set for yourself. They're really great. So I'm deciding to go ahead and practice some of this tie-dye technique before I go put it in my journaling Bible, just to make sure it works out. So I've picked a green, a blue, and a darker blue. And I started by just making that signature swirl of tie-dye on my paper with the blue. And then I went in along one side of it and added the green. And now I'm going through with that darker blue and adding it on the other side of that original kind of periwinkle color. As you can see, I'm wearing a bleach dyed shirt that I just did recently as a at home, shelter at home, safe craft for myself. And it inspired me to go ahead and transition and put some of this tie dye technique into my Bible. So as you can see, I'm just following this kind of spiral shape that is just again that signature shape of tie-dye just using three colors that are related to one another on the color wheel so when you think of the rainbow red orange yellow green blue purple i decided to go with the green blue and dark blue to create this tie-dye here now here's some tips as i go through this that i learned along the way one is to work kind of quickly and another is to keep it wet as you work so if it starts to get a little too dry, add some more water because you do want your colors to bleed into one another. So here I'm practicing again using some warmer tones, red, orange, and yellow. I'm always starting with the lightest color first. I guess that would be a third tip is start with that light color because you're gonna lay that down and then you can add in darker colors. And as you can see, they kind of bleed together and start to blend and mix naturally. And just as they would on a tie-dye shirt or piece of fabric, they're going to be imperfect. They're going to spread and do their own thing. You don't have to worry about having a lot of control in this method. And I think that's really perfect for someone who's just getting into watercolor and wants to try this out for themselves. So I had so much fun with this. And I know I get a lot of questions sometimes with watercolor of just how much water can you use on the page? So let's take a look at this together and I'll show you some fun techniques. So today I'm working in Isaiah 41 verse 10. Fear thou not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. You guys through all the stuff we're going through right now, this is such a comfort to me. We are not alone. So again, thinking about the order of colors in the rainbow, I've gone with blue, purple, and red this time. If you kind of think about a rainbow as a circle, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple would start back around at red. So that's how I've chosen my colors here. And again, just going through with the lightest color. Now the brush I was using on my practice pages was like a size 12 paintbrush. This is a size six. So I knew I needed to make it a little bit smaller because the Bible margin is a much smaller scale to be working in. I'm using exactly the same technique where I'm keeping things pretty wet on the page so that they can blend with one another. I'm using lots of water as I go. If my color gets too light, I put more color on it. If it gets too dark, I use a little more water. If it's not spreading well, I do a little more water and it's coming out so vibrant and gorgeous. So just continue to work with this, practice on scratch paper, have fun. Tie-dye seems to be making a comeback right now, which is super fun. The city where I live, tie-dye has uh, never gone away, I don't think, since originating. But it's fun to see that tie-dye is kind of trending right now. 
Now, I didn't have a lot of patience for this to dry. I could have just been patient and let it dry on its own, but you saw me. I did use a towel, and you can use a paper towel or an old rag, and just kind of press this over and lift off some of that extra liquid and extra color. And this was what I was left with, was just a really fun tie-dye page. It turned out less vibrant because I took the color off, but you'll see, you'll want to subscribe because there is going to be a tie-dye part two video coming out next. And you'll see in that video, I go ahead and just leave the color on the page. It stays so vibrant and gorgeous and is so much fun. So do subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on that. This is one of my favorite things to do when I journal is just find these verses that give me such comfort and focus on these verses, have some fun, be creative, and just really concentrate on the voice of God in my life and what he's telling us. Do not fear. I am with you. And you saw that I used my Faber-Castell pit artist pens, the brush pens here in my Bible, the normal size, since I'm just working in the margin. And then I'm using this Uniball Signo gel pen in white to just outline the letters. And this is really going to cause the words to sort of pop off the page. They can get a little lost, especially if your background has dark colors in it at all. And this white is just a great way to highlight this. Such a wonderful verse in the Bible. Here's a peek again at the back of the page. I just had some color sort of run over the very edge of the page there. It's not bleeding through or anything. Coincidentally, on the right there is a Valentine's Day entry that I had done a couple years ago, and I think that's available also in my Etsy store. So check that out if you want to get a hold of that. <laughs> Plan ahead for next February. So do not fear. I am with you. I wrote a little prayer down at the bottom of Thanksgiving, just thanking the Lord for being here with us. I hope that you guys are all able to maintain peace in your lives in this crazy season. This is such a wonderful reminder to us that we are definitely not alone. Try out this technique in your Bible. Share over in our Facebook group, Because Jesus Bible Journaling. I want to see all the fun tie-dye that you guys are going to create. Visit my Etsy store, Because Jesus Bible Art. I had just thrown some new templates in there the other day about the song Waymaker. Jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. I pray that you guys are doing well, and I hope you have a wonderful day.